As motorcycle riders, sometimes we see gear and we have to fight the urge to make an impulse buy to purchase that gear. And if this box is any indication, um, I recently lost that battle. So let's open it up and I'll show you what I bought. All right, so before I open up this box, uh, there's a little bit of a backstory here. So I've been in the market for a spare helmet for a little while now. Uh, I was considering buying another HJC. I've been very happy with my F70. No issues with it whatsoever. It's a great helmet. It's very budget friendly. I'm just overall really happy with it. Uh, the only issue really is that the finish on the helmet is textured. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to clean. Um, but other than that, it's just a very minor annoyance about this helmet that I've been very happy with over the past two years. But I wanted a second helmet. Now, I've always been of this mindset that I would never buy a helmet that I couldn't walk into a dealership and touch and feel. So that, that ruled out like your Rurox, your Voss helmets, you know, and it limited me to HJC, Arai, Shoei, Schuberth, you know, the, these big brand helmets that are available in dealerships across the country, or they're available in motorcycle accessory shops like uh, Revzilla's retail location or Cycle Gear, you know, that sort of thing. So I never really considered getting myself one of these smaller brand helmets. And that all changed just this past weekend. I went on a ride with Goofy Bastard and Trekkie Moto. And uh, while we were at one of our stops, Goofy handed me his helmet. He said, hey, check this out. You know, I did this, I did a review on this new Voss helmet a couple weeks ago. You saw it, you commented on it. You know, check it out live and in person. So I did, and the first thing I noticed when I when I picked up the helmet was, wow, this thing is featherweight compared to my HJC. I mean, when you ride around with, with the HJC F70, you know, for more than a handful of hours, it starts to, to really wear on you because of the, the sheer weight of the, this helmet. And I was just blown away by how light this Voss was. The fit and finish looked great. It had features that I really like, like a drop-down visor. It had a quick disconnect uh, strap so you didn't have to mess with the D-rings. And uh, all in all, it, it just seemed like a really solid and impressive helmet. And when he told me what he paid for it, and it came along with uh, a spare shield and a pin lock, I was in. You know, I was, I was blown away and I was ready to make the purchase. I actually pulled up my phone immediately and started scrolling through the Voss website, seeing what options they had available. Now, I'm not really a loud helmet guy. You know, big, loud graphics aren't really my thing. I like solid colors or muted graphics. They had this really cool gunmetal helmet that I wanted to buy, but they were out of stock. So my choices were really white or black. And uh, as you'll see in just a second, I bought one. First things first, we got our shipping information here. It's a 989014 with a chrome replacement face shield and a pin lock insert. Size large. Sent along a cool little Voss sticker, which I'll probably slap on that tool cabinet in the background. And uh, we got a box inside of a box. I like that new helmet smell. So the uh, the chrome face shield is the spare. It comes with a clear. I'm not really sure how easily that goes on. My F70 is kind of a pain. Um, it's not toolless, so you actually have to get a screwdriver and take the thing off. So it's a you know it's not a quick change option. So this one I would imagine snaps right off, and the new one pops on. So we got our helmet in a Voss bag. I don't know what any of you guys do with these helmet bags, but I don't actually use them. I mean, I still have the one for my F70 um, somewhere uh, because once I get the helmet out, I like I use the helmet. I don't ever put it back in the bag.
And he, here we are. Drop the bag. Black Voss helmet, which I'm uh, really, really eager to try. And got our little information packet inside there. Quick disconnect strap. Drop down visor on the side, which actuates super easy. Um, the only thing that I see that may be a minor problem is my F70 comes down a bit further. There's not a, much in the way of space between the drop down visor and your skin. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue, especially when I pop the, the chrome visor on. So I'm really happy with, with it so far. I'm going to uh, throw this helmet on, go for a ride, and uh, I'll be back to let you know what I think of it. Um, one thing to note, I do not have uh, my chin mount for this just yet. I did order one, so I'm not gonna be able to take you with me outside of bringing along a secondary camera. Just show you a little bit of footage of me riding around. But uh, I'll give you more of an in-depth opinion when I get off the bike. All right, folks, it's been about an hour, uh, yeah, about an hour, riding around with my, my new Voss 989 Moto V helmet. And I think I've got a really good first impressions of the helmet so far. And there are some pros and cons. We'll go over the pros first. The helmet is very, very light. And it's just a, it's, it's a really nice change of pace to be able to move around so freely without having all of that bulk like I do with my, my HJC. Uh, the physical size of the helmet actually feels smaller too. Uh, I feel like I have a, a larger range of motion. If I'm approaching an odd intersection, I'm able to turn my head further. And I feel like I've, I've just got more range of motion without the helmet contacting my shoulder. And it's, it's just a pleasant helmet to use. I like that the visors are interchangeable. I mean, I had to fight with the fight with it a little bit to get the chrome visor on, but that's just because I'm not used to these toolless systems. Um, it's just nice to pop on and off. The closure is fantastic. It's so much nicer than fiddling with uh, the the double D rings, and you can actually you get the helmet on and off with gloves on, and that's something I could never do with my other helmets. You know, fishing the the uh, strap through the the rings. Now for some of the cons. Um, and there are a few. This helmet is loud, like really loud. And I wear earplugs. I can definitely see myself getting a headache after riding for a few hours. Um, at, you know, 55 plus, it, it gets pretty loud. And I think it is entirely the venting system. Uh, if you close up all the vents, it's significantly quieter. But if you open them and you turn your head certain ways, you can hear the air rushing through the helmet, rushing around the vents. Um, sometimes it makes a, a slight little whistling noise. So this is one of those helmets where I, I don't know that I would want to use it for motovlogging. Uh, I'm not quite sure how the audio is gonna turn out because there is so much wind noise inside the helmet. You know, jumping back to the pros column because uh, something else kind of popped into my mind, the field of view on this helmet is fantastic. It's It seems wider than my HJC. And I think part of that has to do with the breath box in my HJC is so high. It's almost like uh, wearing a fighter jet helmet. Um, you know, it sits so high up on the face. This one is lower and I feel like I, I get much more visible space looking through the visor. So, you know, for a, for a first impressions review, I'd say that this is a, a ni very nice helmet. My only real issue with it is it's loud. And you know, maybe that's something I'll, I'll get used to over time, but uh, I, I'm not upset that I purchased the helmet. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I just need to, to get used to the noise. Otherwise, it's a great helmet. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels, it moves. I like the, the range of motion I get, the field of view I get out of it. All in all, it was a great helmet for $230 or so, but all in, you know, shipped. I got the helmet, a spare visor, and a pinlock insert for it. And uh, I think it's a great buy. <laughs> I forgot to take the sticker off. Anyway, hopefully you can hear me since I'm yelling in my helmet. Um, there, there's one other thing that uh, about this helmet that I, I wanted to kind of bring your attention. And that is, um, 
I'm not thrilled with the way the, the, the visor works. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking at this point, but on my HJC, it's ambidextrous. You get a divot here and a little tab over here and you can open and close it here. With this helmet, it's in the front. And uh, the, the detents, they're so tight that the helmet actually moves on my head when I open and close it. It does snap shut really tight and uh, seals out all the air. The vents are easy to use if you could figure it out. There you go. <laughs> all in all, again, I'm happy with it. So if you're interested in buying a Voss helmet for yourself, uh, go ahead and use Goofy Bastard's discount code. I believe it's Goofy Bastard 10. If not, I'll put it somewhere on the screen so that you can see it, as well as the video description. It'll get you 10% off a helmet, and because he's an affiliate, it'll kick him back a couple of bucks for making a sale. And uh, you know, I think that's all fair, considering he turned me on to the, the Voss helmet in the first place. Thanks, Goofy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Well, not just Goofy, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop a comment down in the comment section below if you got any questions. And uh, ride safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.